So, what'd you do while you're gone? Got a job? Yeah, I got a few. Worked on a cane farm. I nearly broke my finger too. Helped this guy with some wood. Chucked it on the back of a truck and my finger got mashed underneath it. War wounds of a warrior. Yeah. I know how to build fences now too. Yeah? When you're gonna need to do that? Oh, I don't know. I just did it. Wasn't there when they burnt the cane either. You're a real temporary, aren't you? No, I'm just not going to grab the first thing that comes along because it's the first thing. You don't get a choice. Who told you that? No one. Well, I don't care what you do. Just do something. Dad worked fucking hard to get what he got. I've been working. On the farm was the first time I actually enjoyed what I was doing, and I know Dad worked hard. That's all he ever did. What do you mean? Well, I just think maybe if he didn't work so hard, maybe Mum wouldn't have felt so lonely, and maybe she wouldn't have left. So what makes you figure that? Remember, that's all they ever talked about. I just remember them arguing all the time, and then one day, Mum went all quiet and stopped, and one morning she was gone. He worked his guts out for her. Yeah, he worked so hard he forgot why he was working. He didn't make her leave. Then why'd she leave? Because she's a fucking loony. Listen to the way you're talking, it's like a fucking sob story. Don't call her a loony. I was just thinking about the last time I saw her. Yeah? Why? Because I can't remember what she said or what she was wearing. For fuck's sake, I knew you were going to do this. What are you talking about, Mum? Because I can't remember ever talking about it. That's right. It's not worth it. No, I haven't seen her in 15 years and that's the way I like it. Don't you ever think about what happened? No, I don't. You see, you think out aloud. That's your problem, right? You've got to keep some things inside you, locked in. Enough things get locked up inside you, you start to build some character. Oh, character isn't walking around with your mouth shut hoping no one will notice you. All right. All right. You need to be reminded of some things. Don't automatically assume that people want to listen to you, OK? Everyone's got their own shit. I don't need your permission to open my mouth. Jesus, you're like a walking daytime television show. Yeah, and you sound like a fucking courtroom drama. You have those little fucking rules that everyone has to follow, and if people don't follow them, then they're the ones who have the problem. Geez, you've got a habit of talking absolute bullshit. <laughs> yeah, well, you were the one I listened to when I was young, so I guess I ought to order you, Captain Fucking Bug Up His Ass. So you think because you've got a problem with something, I've got to have a problem with the same thing? Nah, worlds passed between us. What was it Dad used to say? The only thing you and I got in common is gravity. So don't presume to know what's going on in my head. You've got nothing but guilt. I'm not guilty. I was there for Dad. You weren't.